Okay, we're going to have a quick look at the clonal selection theory, and to start with, we're going to have a look at antigens. Now, as we know that antigens have this region on the end here, uh, the variable region, the antigen binding site, and it's it's that region that changes um, between every B cell. Okay, every B cell is a little bit different. Uh, now, T cells have a similar sort of molecule with that 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 shape, um, that specific molecule. Um, and it has the same sort of effect that every T, T cell has a specific shape that, of an antigen that it'll fit. So let's have a look at how this applies to clonal selection. So when we have a look at clonal selection, the very first bit to start with is that we've got an infinite possibility of B and T cells, each with their different shapes. So you can, if you can imagine these being cells and each one having a specific shape. As these cells are made, um, the variable region of the antigen binding site is changed for each cell. So each cell has uh, only one specific antigen will fit, fit, and there's millions of different possibilities. Now these B or T cells are only activated when the antigen's present. And when the antigen's pres present, we have this a big um, and very quick reproduction of these cells. They become very active very quick, and that's called proliferation. In the case of B cells, they produce lots of antibodies, lots of plasma cells to produce antibodies. In T cells, they're the cytotoxic T cells that go out and uh, attack the, the cells. Now, what happens after that is we also produce some memory cells. And they stay in the system to allow that response to, ha um, to happen even quicker in the future. So rather than starting with one cell, you've got numerous memory cells around the body um, to stop a repeat infection. So the main points here, we have an uh, infinite number of B or T cells, each with its own specific um, shape of antigen um, recognition molecule, being, being an antibody in B cells. And when it's activated by the antigen, it undergoes this rapid reproduction, making lots of what we might call clones. So the antigen selects the B or T cell to make the clones and we produce a lot of memory cells to stay in the body system to have, have a fast response in the future. Now one thing worth considering is that some of these um, B and T cells, because there's um, a, a huge variety of them, some of them might actually be set up so that they could recognize the body's own um, antigens, its own proteins, the, those ones that recognize self. So what happens in the early stage of de development is the body is able to knock out the ones that recognize self. Um, so those B and, and T cells don't exist. Um, and, and when something goes wrong there, that's where we have autoimmune diseases. Okay, good luck with the, looking at the clonal selection theory.